All right, hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm actually in uh, my car right now, just getting out of the gym, and uh, I didn't have time. I'm not gonna be home today, so I figured I need to make this video on my phone. I don't know if it'll even be edited, but I wanted to put it out there for you guys because I'm sticking to my daily content, and I'm, I'm sticking to that, dedicated to you guys. I wanna bring you real, long-term value and help you start making money, drop shipping, and um, yeah, so let's get into it. So today I wanna make a video. I wrote out my notes a little bit on uh, making your first sale on Shopify dropshipping. So, a couple things to keep in mind with this. Uh, number one, your first sale might not be profitable because of the amount of money that you've spent in maybe influencer ads or Facebook ads or whatever it may be. Uh, so don't worry about that. However, I, the, my philosophy, let me look, let me tell you this. My philosophy is I'm willing to spend, you know, 100, 150, even 200 dollars up front on a tiny project like this. I spent, I probably spent 300 bucks before I really had my first sale. Uh, but not, luckily I can pass on that knowledge to you so you don't have to do that. Uh, but I was willing to do that because I learned so much, right? I mean, you look at, like, let's say college, for example. You know, people are willing to pay fifty, sixty, seventy thousand uh, dollars to be given these pieces of information that they could Google. Uh, so why don't you spend three hundred, four hundred dollars testing a product so you can figure out how to make serious profit and live freely off of the money that you've made, learning from a couple hundred dollars. Um, and so that's something that I want to keep in mind as we move forward. Is that you know you got to be willing to spend some money, you got to be willing to lose some money, uh, because if you're not, then um, you're gonna fail. Because I really think that you're you have to spend in order to earn you have to be willing to risk these things so keep that in mind as well as well uh, it took me probably just over a month to get my first sale uh, with my drop shipping store uh, and it was far from profitable it was it was far from profit it was not it was actually yeah I probably was like 150 bucks down at that point um, but here let me show you so I have a couple things laid out for you uh, firstly for your very first sale it's likely I would say it's probably an 80 to 90% chance that it won't be Facebook ads and it will be influencer ads like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, even there's some people seeing Tumblr influencer success, uh, which is something I didn't, even, I didn't even know that was a thing, but you can't actually do that. Uh, and in order to look for these influencers, I have a couple videos on Instagram influencers specifically, but I'm coming out with more soon on Twitter influencers, on Tumblr influencers, and how to use these sorts of platforms because a lot of people talk about Instagram, but nobody talks about Twitter. But I've seen actually arguably the most success on Twitter. Uh, so when you're looking for influencers, I have a couple videos in terms of how you can find influencers, how you research them, uh, and I highly recommend that once you have a system in place that you teach that system to a VA, a virtual assistant that you can go and hire. There's plenty of online websites uh, like FreeUp or um, OnlineJobs.ph or Upwork or TaskRabbit. These are all sites that you can use uh, to find a virtual assistant who can go out and actually do your influencer research for you and actually manage those relationships so now I'm getting to a point now where I still do a lot of my influencer research and still do a lot of the relationship building but I'm getting to a point very soon where all I have to do is call my lady her name's Dion I call Dion I say hey I need four influencers uh, this Friday here's the product here's the ad can you run this I need at least you know four million reach make sure the you know Instagram pages are legit or Twitter pages or whatever can you handle that for me and uh, that's where you can get eventually. But for now, DM, message, email, whatever, 10, 15 of these influencer pages, get on the radar and say, how much do you charge for a post? And uh, just throw an ad up on their page, see how it goes, learn from it, scale it if it works, uh, do some research. I have plenty of videos on my channel about how you can execute on this. Um, and just a couple general rules for this. I typically don't go under 100,000 followers on any given page just because less than that, you know, it's just not worth your time. I typically actually go for much higher pages, 900,000 plus, you know, million plus. Um, as well, uh, don't worry about your niche just yet. Just test random products. This is huge. Uh, don't worry about having a consistent brand yet even. Just learn how to convert an ad in the first place, right? So I think long term, you make the most money building an actual legit brand and uh, selling someone on a brand as opposed to just a singular product. But short term, uh, you can just test a product and see if you can just convert an ad at all. And that's super valuable. If you learn how to just convert an ad at all, that is just crazy. Like you're in the top you know, 2% of all e-commerce sellers just because your ad freaking worked. Uh, so that's awesome, good job. Um, so honestly, I didn't have any notes planned for you. So I feel like this is kind of the last thing that I need to throw your way. Be willing to fail. 
Uh, and I feel like I said this earlier on because I said, you know, it took me a month and I spent some money. But be willing to fail and almost fail is the wrong word. Be willing to learn because, you know, you got to spend some money. You got to learn. You got to test. It takes a while. It's a slow moving process. There's no real guarantees involved besides the guarantee that you'll learn along the way. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind that it's a process. It is not something that happens overnight. It's taken me. Yeah, uh, well, I'd say my first, I uploaded the video forever ago. You can actually go check it out. My first dropshipping sale, it's actually on my channel. It's back in November. This is, we're late in January now, and I've built this thing up already where, you know, it's it's getting to a point where it can be a full-time job if I wanted it to be, but I want to scale up much larger than that. Um, so there you go, you guys. Hope you got some value from this video. This is very... Uh, last minute and I, I i wanted to bring you guys something valuable i wanted to just give you some direction on your very first sale because i realized that on this channel i'm appealing to the type of person that is already sort of established and i need to appeal to the people who are just getting into it as well uh so uh your very first sale let me sum up what i talked about today it won't always be profitable it may take you some time don't worry about the niche of your store just worry about the niche of your product and appeal to that niche find twitter instagram tumblr reddit youtube whatever influencers and, and give your product to them as long as their audience is uh, an audience that would typically be interested in your product. That's, you know, that's a niche. Um, you go for influencers who have quite a few followers. Don't waste your money on small influencers. Uh, I would recommend you start with a cheap product just for the sake of conversions. Or, sorry. No, I said I, I would recommend you go with a more expensive product just for the sake of conversions because it actually helps things be more profitable. A lot of people are scared to move up to more expensive products, but why Why would you be? I would say just go immediately with a product that you know brings you 30 bucks per sale as opposed to these tiny little $6 sales, uh, which is something that I also didn't do, and I highly recommend that you do do that because I was, for some reason, scared to move up in numbers. I don't know why. Uh, but it doesn't change anything. It just changes how much money is involved, uh, which is a great thing on my end because I end up making more money along the way. So, uh, yes, I believe that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the uh, sort of on-the-moment spur style video. I typically try not to do this. I try to make things a little bit more produced. But today has just been crazy. I have a meeting. Uh, I have, like, yeah, I have like three meetings coming right after this. I have to find a way to change into my better clothes over here. Uh, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm busy, man. I'm hustling and I'm, I'm feeling great, but I wanted to bring you guys some value and hopefully you learned from this video. So uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if I brought you any value at all. Uh, leave a like and that lets me know that you found something in this video that you can take away and learn from and that had helped you. Uh, and I will see you all around. Thank you so much for watching.